people that say in theory that they care about girls, but not everyone has any emotional connection to girls. So to solve girls' problems, you kind of need to understand what the girl thinks, what she wants, how she feels, and we wanted to create that in this space by bringing people into the room to experience a storyboard and a journey in the life of a girl so that they could get to know her. Because I think once you get to know her, you actually um, are able to develop programs and initiatives um, to actually solve the problems and solve it in a way that actually makes sense to her and actually impacts her in the way that she needs. The way that we've been trying to reduce poverty, the way that we've been trying to promote gender equality has forgotten girls and so girls are an unlikely solution to poverty reduction and also because business as usual has not worked. We've been trying to reduce poverty for so long and we need unlikely solutions, we need unlikely uh, partnerships and we un need unlikely ways of thinking and doing so that we can actually begin to get some, uh, head make some headway when it comes to uh, reducing poverty and working with girls. Bridget, the girl child is what, if properly nurtured, will bring about change and will take poverty so many steps back if and only if we act while she's still a child. It's nice to hear voices from girls talking. It's nice to hear people say, oh, wow, unbelievable. But I think what I've seen coming out is that it's a big task. We, we still need to create a platform for these voices to be heard. Uh, it's, it's not very easy. Some of the things that girls have said, for instance, today I heard, means that we have in another chunk of population that we really need to reach. We must reach them for these voices to be heard and then to be also understood. Um, there are many challenges. But the top five, I guess, are the girl has to believe in herself. So often girls stop believing in who they are and stop being excited about being a girl. That's one challenge. Another challenge, obviously, is the level of poverty. Um, and even though people may want to send their girls to school, they cannot. The third challenge, I think, is a really key one, is people's perceptions of girls. The way that girls are seen and understood and the role that they play. People often, um, you know, throw them off very early in life. So people's perceptions need to change. Um, and the, another challenge is the insecurity. In the north of Nigeria, we've all heard about Boko Haram, and we've really got to try and address that. And third is leadership. We need leadership in this country. We need role models. We need leaders who understand and get why girls are important and are willing to do something about it. And I think once you connect to the girl, which is what we try to do at Unlikely today, bring a bunch of unlikely players, so to speak, from the private sector, from the public sector, government, institutional donors, business owners, creatives, media, um, into a room, what you get is an amalgamation of creative thinking and um, energy to sort of try and work together to solve problems from the, for the girl, from the girl's perspective. So that's why I'm like, it was wonderful, very wonderful. I, 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 got, I got to meet new people that I never expected to meet in my life. I feel nice, it was cool. I met so many people. Like, I liked the way everyone was talking. I love talking with people. I share my experience with them. They, they asked me a question and I answered it. So I really like it.